Hi, I'm Sarah. This is Creative Ramblings, where I share simple, inspiring projects. Today, we are making hoop art. This is made using an embroidery hoop, some scrap fabric, and a stencil. I'm going to show you how to make this, and I'm going to show you a technique on how to get perfect crisp lines every time. So today we are making hoop art. So here's what you need for this project. This is a 12 inch embroidery hoop. I also have an eight inch and a 10 inch. I grabbed some scraps of fabric. Now if you're a crafter, you probably have scraps of fabric around. Um, otherwise I encourage you to go to a thrift store or go to a rummage sale. You can find some great fabric at phenomenal prices and you can reuse something in the process. So grab some scraps of fabric. You're gonna need a scissors, some paint, an iron, and the key to perfect stencils that you can make is freezer paper. You can pick this up at your local grocery store and you can cut this freezer paper using your silhouette or your Cricut and make your own stencils with beautiful crisp lines. So on this one, I cut out Dream Big and I also cut out two more here. This one says Brave Spirit and Kind Heart. When you're cutting on a silhouette or a Cricut, be sure to put the freezer paper on your mat, shiny side down. There's two sides to freezer paper. There's a matte side and then the back half of this is very shiny. Put the shiny side down, cut it out using copy paper settings and you're gonna get um, a beautiful stencil. Go over the freezer paper with the iron on medium heat until it adheres to the fabric. And now it's time to paint. So I'm just using regular acrylic paint on this fabric. Protect your surface with a piece of cardboard and then we're going to start painting. I use a sponge brush in acrylic paint. Dab it in the paint and wipe some of the paint off. You don't need very much at all. And then just start dabbing. While the paint is still wet, just peel back your freezer paper and it'll come right off. There's no residue or anything left behind. You can use a tool like the Silhouette tool to help pick up some of those pieces that are left over without smudging the paint. Once the paint is dry, we're just going to add it to our embroidery hoop. Make sure your words are centered or off-centered, however you choose. Then we just trim off the excess. And that's how you make a simple hoop art using a fabric scrap, embroidery hoop, and freezer paper to create your stencil. I hope you were inspired by this simple project today and that you're gonna go out and create your own amazing hoop art to decorate your home. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe for more simple, inspiring projects. Now take a look at these videos. I'm sure you're going to like them and be inspired to start crafting today. Thanks for watching.